in the highlands of Ethiopia, crop productivity is affected by poor land productivity. The reason for this is because in these highland areas, we face environmental calamities like soil erosion, land degradation, uh, frost, and water logging. In these areas, sheep contributes a lot for the livelihoods of the, the farmers. They contribute about up to 63% of cash income derived from the livestock annually. One of the challenges of uh, sheep production in these areas is the feeds and feeding system and also the traditional uh, production system followed by the farmers. In order to improve these uh, challenges, the, she the, the feed and also the traditional uh, fattening systems, the national research system in collaboration with the ICARDA team has introduced and improved sheep fattening techniques using locally available uh, feed resources. The feed resource is very limited in this region, especially the protein source. So they rely on uh, uh, wheat and uh, uh, barley straws and uh, these dish of grouse. Especially uh, in the protein source, it's very limited. That's why Bonga Agricultural Research Centers, in collaboration with ICARDA, is working to standardize the processing procedures of Brugamensia surveillance or commonly known as foliage flour to minimize anti nutritional factors by boiling and other techniques. The farmers are constrained with uh, land. You know, land is in short supply. And previously, farmers used to uh, have uh, you know, communal grazing lands and also private grazing lands that they can use to produce pasture and also to feed to their animals. But nowadays, communal grazing lands have uh, disappeared because they have been replaced by uh, crops. To alleviate part of this, this problem, uh, we uh, introduced this uh, cultivated forage and the practice of irrigating this perennial forage so that they can produce year-round uh, forage that can supplement the crop residues they have and also other locally available feedstuffs. Now we want to uh, also increase uh, the uh, available options, forage options for the farmers. Our ongoing approach is targeting youth as disseminators of improved and market-oriented sheep fattening practices. Over the past year, we have facilitated the formation of uh, over, 50, over 50 youth groups, comprising approximately 500 youth in 30 villages across two regions of Ethiopia. The youth have been undertaking field days to disseminate improved sheep fattening methodologies to farmers and to provide mentorship, inspiration and leadership to the youth groups, a champion farmer is attached to each one of the groups. In four regions of the country, more than 10,000 of farmers are practicing these exercises and currently they have really uh, got good benefits, increased their income and also they are adapted to these uh, improved fattening techniques. The challenge they are having these days is that the problem is the marketing issue on their fattened rams using these improved fattening techniques. To enhance an enabling environment where stakeholders and partners support um, sheep fattening issues through an inclusive approach of developing actionable ideas, knowledge and policies, we have facilitated the formation of community of practice teams in each of the sites. Now, these COPs comprise government experts, value chain actors, youth representatives, and sheep farmers, as well as administrators at local level. We really anticipate that um, incorporation of an entrepreneurial culture into sheep fattening will be a springboard to developing a vibrant sheep sector in the Ethiopian Highlands.